for me, the caffeine is the main thing. And actually, it's a, it's a really big part of my life. And one of the things you recommend that people wait a bit in the morning to, oh, yeah. to consume caffeine. If they experience a crash in the afternoon. That this is one of the misconceptions I um, I regret <laughs> maybe even discussing it. For people that crash in the afternoon, oftentimes if they delay their caffeine by 60 and 90 minutes in the morning, they will offset some of that. But if you eat a lunch that's too big or you didn't sleep well the night before, you're not gonna avoid that afternoon crash. But I'll wake up sometimes and go straight to hydration, caffeine, especially if I'm gonna work out. Here's a weird one. If I exercise before 8.30 a.m., especially if I start exercising when I'm a little bit tired, I get energy that lasts all day. If I wait until my peak of energy, which is mid-morning, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and I start exercising then, I'm basically exhausted all afternoon. And I don't understand why. I mean, it depends on the intensity of the workout. But So I like to be done, showered, and heading into work by 9 a.m., but I don't always meet that mark. So you're saying it doesn't affect your energy if you start uh, with exercising. I think you can get energy and wake yourself up with exercise if you start early. And it and then that fuels you all day long. I think that if you wait until you're feeling at your best mm -hmm. to train, sometimes that's detrimental because then in the afternoon when you're doing like the work we get paid for, like research, podcasting, et cetera, then oftentimes you know, your your brain isn't firing as well. That's interesting. I haven't really rigorously tried that, wake up and just start running or listen. This is the Jocko thing. And then there's this phenomenon called entrainment, where if you force yourself to exercise or eat or socialize or view bright light at a certain time of day for three to seven days in a row, pretty soon there's an anticipatory circuit that gets generated. This is why anyone in theory can become a morning person to some degree or another. And this is also a beautiful example of why you wake up before your alarm clock goes off. You know, people wake up and all of a sudden it goes off. It wasn't because it clicked. It's because you have this in incredible timekeeping mechanism that exists in sleep. And there's some papers that have been published in the last couple of years, Nature Neuroscience and elsewhere, showing that people can answer math problems in their sleep, simple math problems, but math problems nonetheless.